Hello and welcome to another video. In this problem, we're going to be working on fine words that can be formed by characters. And in the problem, you are given an array of strings words and string chars. And a string is good if it can be formed by the characters from chars. Each character can only be used once. Return the sum of lengths of all good strings in words. So here in words, we have all these words and chars are this. And so essentially for every word we have to look, can we build it from chars? So for this word cat, we do have the letters so we can build it. BT we can't, so this one we can, this one we can't. Uh, hat we can, and tree we can't. So we can build these two words and we have to return uh, the sum of the length of all the characters, which we just get six. And the second one, you can form hello and you can form world and you can't form leak code. So um, it would just be 10. So this is a pretty easy problem, but um, the easiest way to do this, especially in Python, is first, like we don't really want to, there's a few ways to do it, but one of them is kind of not great. So one of them is we could take the words and we can sort them. Oh, can we do that actually? We could do that, but yeah, I think that's gonna be a lot worse. So the best way to do it pretty much is to get a character count of every word, and then we can get a character count of chars. And then that way, so for example, let's just go through the second example here. Actually, let's go through this top one. So for chars, we will first make a count of it. So we'll say like A, we have one character, T or A, we have two, T, we have one, let's do this. Um, and then C we have one, H we have one. And then for each word, we can just do the same thing. We can get a count. And then once we get the count, we can just compare the count to the count of the actual characters. So for cat, for example, we'll have one C, one A, one T. And we could say like, okay, for this character C, do we have enough in our characters? And if we do, then we're fine. If not, we can skip this word. So for C, we have enough, for A, we have enough, and for T, we have enough. And then when we get a word like hat, or actually, I think we can make hat. If we get a word like BT, we'll say like, okay, well, B, we have one, T, we have one, but we don't have a B in our character, so we can't make this word. So pretty much pretty straightforward. You just make a counter for both. And then for every, for every character in the word, you can just look in your original uh, character count, do I have enough? And if you do, then add that link to your result. That's pretty much all we need. So now we can code it up, pretty easy problem. So let's take a look. So what we need to do is, we're first gonna make a counter of characters. And if you're not using Python, if you're using like C++ or something, you can manually do this to make a dictionary. But Python, you can just make a counter and it will give you as a key, the character, and as the value, it'll give you the count. So we can say like, uh, cares counter or something equals counter, and then you pass in the characters. Then we could say for word, for word in words, then essentially we have to get this count, right? So first what we can do is we can get the count. So we can say like word count equals uh, counter of word. Then we are gonna make some Boolean value that's gonna tell us if we have enough characters. We also need a result, so make a result, make it zero. Then we have some Boolean values to make sure if we have enough characters. That way we can have like works or something or valid, we'll make it true. And then we have to go through all of the keys in the word count and we have to check, is there enough in the characters count? So we could say like for key in word count, if, character count of key. And the way this works is the counter is like a default dict. So if the key's not in there, it will just give you a value of zero. So if you have like A and A is not in the character's count, it'll just give you a value of zero. So it works out fine. So if character counts key is less than um, word count key, then we don't have enough so if we don't have enough, we'll just say valid equals false. And we can break out a loop because we don't need to check any more characters. So at the end of the loop, if valid is true, that means we went through a whole, wor whole word and it was all fine. Otherwise it's not. So then we can say like 
result plus equals length of the word if valid, otherwise let's add zero. And finally we can return the result. And that should be it. So let's take a look. Submit. All right, and there we go. So pretty reasonable solution somewhere in the middle. Um, so let's talk about the time and space complexity for this. So for the time, essentially we are going through all of the characters in characters. So we'll call that like O of C. And then we have to go through all of the characters in words. So let's call that like WC or something, right? We have to go through all the characters in that. Now going through the keys in your word count is gonna be, I'm gonna argue this is O of one because we can only have 26, letter ma 26 letters max. So uh, yeah, this is, this is basically constant time because we can only have 26 letters max here. So it's gonna be uh, O of count and O of all the total characters in all the words combined. Um, and then the space, I'm also gonna argue that's gonna be O of one because for this character count, we can only have 26 keys. And then for this word count, we can only have 26 keys. So that's why this is kind of useful to do to get counters for letters because the data structures are gonna be so small because you're limited to 26 keys or 52 keys or whatever the word is. Um, and yeah, I think that's gonna be all for this one. So hopefully you liked it. If you did, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.